Hello everyone. Thanks for tuning in. This is Andrea Mueller. I'm here at our headquarters in Springfield, Missouri. And today we are going to give you a tour of our new Peterbilt Ultra Lost. So um, they've been coming in for a while now and I've gotten several requests to do a truck tour. So I brought Van with me today. Hello. Um, he's never done a live video before, but he's our Hello. Peterbilt rep. So we're gonna walk down to the truck while everybody logs on. Um, and he's gonna do a Q and A for us. So let's look here. Um, so we're on site in uh, Springfield, Missouri. Van, how long have you been working for Peterbilt? I've been with the, I started the Larson Group in 2004 and I've been on site here at Prime for the last five years. Okay, so you actually sit over in the it, I sit plaza? at the new plaza building at the driver lineup. Okay, cool. I'm easy to find. Easy to find. So easy that I didn't know. I was like, where does Van sit? <laughs> <laughs> so we're actually walking to the new Peterbilt right now. I'm gonna turn around the camera. Um, we're gonna answer any questions you have or as many as we can, so comment below. Um, we've got one from David Allen. He said, I'm going to be ready to upgrade in less than two weeks. How is the backlog on upgrading as a lease? So, I, let me see here. All right, so I haven't um, checked this week. I know they were holding off. They were kind of throttling upgrades right now just so we can catch up on truck orders. Um, the truck vendors can't really keep up with the demand that we have here at Prime. So, Van, get on the- <laughs> Yeah, we, the demand's high. We, yeah. Build slots are non-existent anymore. So honestly, Prime doesn't have any problem getting drivers. We've got more drivers than we can produce trucks. And that's yeah. all, that's, that's, that's a good thing to have. I mean, yeah. it, drivers are hard to come by. And Prime yeah. does and a we, really the, good job. Thank you. Um, we try, but it, it's all about partnerships and we would appreciate more trucks. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we would appreciate selling more trucks. So. No, um, so yeah, no, just check with your fleet manager. They can um, let you know when you can come in to upgrade. The goal is that we want you to keep running until we can get you in here and not have a long wait. You know, we don't want you to be sitting waiting for a new truck if you can keep running and making money in the meantime. So if you're out there and you are eligible to upgrade, um, you've met your 30,000 or 40,000 minimum requirement mileage, um, and you've talked to your fleet manager and they've said, yeah, you're eligible for upgrade, but you're not coming in to upgrade yet, you'll get a, an additional $300 per week on top of the $700 guarantee. So make sure you're asking for that and making sure it's on your um, paycheck if you are eligible to upgrade, but not upgrading yet. So that's 300 extra per week. All right, let me flip around the camera. We'll look at this new Peterbilt and step inside where it's less windy. So sorry for the delay today. We uh, ran into a little snafu. Somebody else was using this truck for a flatbed securement video that we didn't know about. So we had to get it washed and get it over here. So this is the new Peterbilt 2020 model. Um, it's the Ultra Loft. Little football theme, that's cute. Step around here. And uh, let's talk about the engine, man. What has it got in it? This is a Packard MX-13. It's a 455 horse. Uh, 1,650 foot-pound torque, 13 liter engine. Um, it's our newer model, so it's got a lower torque curve than uh, generations before. This truck's designed to run in those low RPMs that uh, everybody likes for the fuel mileage we get here, which is uh, generally above average uh, for the rest of the fleets out there. Um, the, I really like the MX engine. I'm an MX fan. It's been my favorite for a while, so. So this is an automatic, right? No it vehicles. is automated, 12 speed, Packard uh, branded transmission. Uh, the transmission is overdrive. The rears in this truck are 264 ratio. Again, helps with fuel mileage and keeping the RPMs down. Still pulls great, still drives great. Smooth, quiet. All right, well, let's look inside here. Do, do, do they all come with this door? Is that standard? Yes, this, is, this truck is pretty much your standard spec that y'all choose. Um, door on this side, window on the other. So, and I, the sleeper door, everybody seems to like. Cool. All right, well, let's step inside here and then we'll answer some questions once we're out of the wind. Oh, oh, hold tight, okay, hold tight. You're Sorry. not practicing getting up and no. down trucks, are you? Yeah, <laughs> all right. So, a couple questions. Um, if you're just tuning in, I'm Andrew Mueller. We're here at Prime with Van. He is our Peterbilt rep who sits on site at our headquarters to help out drivers with any Peterbilt issues. Um, 
And let me see here. Dun, da, da, da. So David Nichols said, what comes standard in these trucks? Uh, the standard is the, is the platinum interior. Let me turn this around so you can point yeah. out. If you, uh, when we show you the rest of the truck, this is, this is a standard spec truck. This one does not come with the factory installed refrigerator, although that is an option. Um, this one has double bunks, which is pretty much the standard for prime. We don't do it any other way for you guys. The <coughs> platinum interior is, is fully loaded. It's got everything, uh, that, that comes with the truck. There isn't much else you can get inside. Um, this cab, the ultra loft went up in space from the previous truck, which was the mid roof 579. So this one's got an integrated sleeper. It gained seven foot of cubic space inside. It's got 70 total cubic feet of interior space. Like I said, this op, this truck did not come with the factory installed refrigerator. So this is the customer supplied space for the refrigerator. There is an option for the factory one. Um, obviously there's storage under the bunk as usual. The uh, upper bunk, this is an 83 by 83 by 39, I believe. And this one is slightly wider by about six inches on the bottom. So, the, okay. so both beds are fairly large. Um, somebody asked how many inches tall from floor to ceiling? <laughs> well, I'm five foot 11 and I can't touch. So whatever that is. <laughs> whatever that is. I don't know that specific dimension. And, and if you're talking about nearly six foot tall and I sit here, I've still got head space too. And that's, uh, you know, that was intentional and they, I mean, this truck hadn't even been, hadn't had the paper removed or nothing. <laughs> so it, it's set up for bigger people. I mean, they, uh, well, and actually the steering column, we'll talk about that in a bit. It, it moves a lot more for shorter people. So, <laughs> but um, the, the upper bunk, unfortunately, since this one had never been had anything done with, I'll it's show you. <laughs> yeah, I think they're going to show us that. Uh, but Gregory Christopher said, is there a ladder to the top bunk? Ta-da! So this. Oh, cool. This option's great. And, uh, you know, everybody's like, well, how sturdy is it? I weigh 260. Uh -oh, this uh -oh. is designed. <laughs> this and the grab handles are designed for 400 pounds okay. up here on both sides. Oh, nice. They are good and sturdy. Um, bunks the same way. So even, even people like me, I said that we can get up in these pretty easy and not have to worry. Um, Justin Moreau said, can you get the midroof without the upper bunk? I do not believe Prime specs that at all. Okay. So just check with leasing on that one um, to confirm. And Kyla, I know she's watching on here. She'll comment too if um, she knows for sure. And then Michael Yoda said, is it available to lease new, is it available to new lease drivers coming to Prime? So yes. Yes, I believe so. Yep. So it is available. Um, they started coming in, what, two months ago? Uh, less than that. This is um, about a month ago, I think, is the first, uh, the first ultra loss hit the lot. So, and um, in this, in before, you know, you'd have the roof would have been right here. So now the, the sleeper is part of the cab. So this is the replacement for our recent 587 model that we got discontinued. Uh, the the storage space in here, so they changed a few things. So this cabinet is the hanging cabinet. And one of the things that, they asked a lot of drivers questions. So if you hung something here before, it touched on the bottom. Well, they raised that up. The, the hanger's actually in here now. So there's 42 inches of space. So if, you've, if you're hanging your shirts, now they don't actually have to, because my shirts are triple X and they kind of drag if I were to hang them in here. So it, with this 42 inches, it does not anymore. The uh, this space was intended and is intended for the microwave. It'll hold a microwave, uh, 1.1 cubic foot microwave. I'm not, I think that's pretty well the biggest in the industry for a truck microwave. The upper cut cabinet here has power supplies in it. This is intended and was measured so that it would hold the CPAP machine, two of them, but main, mainly for if you've got a driver that sleeps in the top bunk, he's got a CPAP, he can put it up here, phone, all that stuff, and he still has power outlet there, same here, power outlet here. And then obviously down here below in the desk area, you've got your 12 volt power outlets too, bunk controls, 
Uh, thermal king, of course, APU controls have been put in. What kind of inverter is in this? This one is going to be a prime installed inverter. This is not the factory spec. Uh, the factory, if it had the factory inverter, the factory inverter would actually be... Oops. <laughs> Come on. I'll grab it a bit, but it goes down behind there. Okay. Uh, out of the so way. So is this the new one that they're installing? This is the new one that Prime's installing. I want to say they're 1500 tundra? watts too. Yeah, 1500 watts, but they changed from something to something, to the Cobra or the Tundra? I believe to the Tundra. To the Tundra. Uh, they were, that was their, their new one. And every, so far as I know, it's it's been a good deal. Um, we did get a question um, from Mark Yeager. He said, can we get Big Bridge Raider refrigerator? The bigger refrigerator? No, this is the... This only holds the, the one size, and the, whether it's the factory installed or the customer supplied, it's still that that same size that they sell up here in the company store. Okay, and then Gregory Christopher Christopher and Emily Plummer asked about where would a TV go. Right there, comes with a supplied TV mount. Oh, ta-da! What kind of what size fits there? Thirty-two. I believe the biggest was 32 i think that one's set up for the 26 okay if i'm not mistaken because it kind of covers the window too um but it, you know i think depending on whether or not you want that window there or not i think from there to there is enough for a 26 inch okay and there, are there any usb outlets in here i do not believe there's any any supplied usb outlets yeah i didn't see any i don't think so they're all 12 volt um where you plug in your cigarette lighter type Okay. usb devices but not usb outlets on our own okay and then um pop duke said are they still governed on the pulling power doing 65 miles per hour starting up a hill then all the way down to 25 miles per hour while it eats all the fuel so they're not we don't govern trucks on quote unquote pulling power the thing that's set is the speed limit that's 65 65 for the fleet that is that is where it's set. Pulling power is all about torque. That's not governed at all. It's full 1650 available, full 455 horse available. There's no changes made in that at all. Uh, the pulling power comes from the torque, and you don't back that off. Okay. Um, Emily Plummer said, "Is that navigation on the dash?" Yes, it is. This is. Uh, you want to turn it on for us? Sure. Make sure we've got our code for yeah, the truck. Yeah, don't set off any alarms here. Security. So if you guys are just tuning in, we are inside the new 2020 model of the Peterbilt Ultra Loft. We're here in Springfield, Missouri. If anybody would like to see this truck and you're on the yard, feel free to come on out and say hi to us. We are right outside of the Z building here in Springfield. Dan's going to start up the truck for us. Well, if I find the code, because uh, <laughs> uh -oh. a little bit tiny scrap oh, of paper no. I had it in, it's just gone. I think I remember what it was, though. Um, oh gosh. <laughs> this is this is the beauty of live. All right, we did get a couple more questions. Um, in my 2018 e brake is on dash and shifter is near cup holders. Where is it now? The shifter is no longer down here. That was called a Cobra shifter. It's gone. The shifter is up here now. They don't have the security system set up on this one yet. The security system, oh. by the way, on these new trucks, they're not using the keypad anymore. We've got a we've got a factory installed security oh. system that works up here. Okay. They just have this truck evidently hasn't even gone through truck prep, so it's uh, it's, it's not baby. set yet. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's really really new. So that's going to be set up here on the dash. There'll be four boxes that come up, and then you use this knob to to put your code in. Good thing about that is is you can actually turn the key on and not start the truck work everything in the truck without entering your code you only have to enter the code if you're going to start the truck okay um but like i said not installed and very low on fuel the navigation goes right here uh, same as the last model and the model prior the navigation is still set here and then you'll have to set it up for you it'll ask you to set your co-pilot up there's instructions that come with every truck there's a there's a bag full of manuals that we provide with uh, each unit that'll tell you how to go through your licensing agreement it doesn't cost anything it just requires you to do some setup prep so this is separate it. than the omnitrax qualcomm this is separate the omnitrax, omnitrax qualcomm is here that's uh that's more of a fleet thing and not doesn't come from us okay and then uh radio do you have xm in here serious 
uh, yes, it's SXM now. Oh, they've branded. Well, you know, they, they own each other now. Yeah. It used to be XM and Sirius. Now it's all been whoever Good news, purchased there's it. a CD player, everybody. <laughs> there is a CD player. Is this, a, this is a common, is this something that people worry about? Um, I don't think so, but there's a CD player in here. So um, is there also an audio? Yeah, right here. Okay. There is, and I guess there is a USB here. Um, that plug in music. You can plug in your phone for music or whatever. And there is still most certainly the iTerrace system that uh, lets you know when you're crossing lines on either side. Which we're hearing. Oh All yeah, right. yeah, that's um, the speakers that are bumping up here. Uh, Jer Jeremiah said, are there additional outlets on the rear, rear, rear wall of the top bunk? It looks like it from here. So that was up there, right? I don't believe this one's got it. The, I believe that when you spec it with the factory installed inverters, that's, this is for the, the latch for this. But, so, but um, there's this one up here for the this, CPAP. That, that is for the CPAP, right? Okay. Then, of course, you've got the map lighting and everything else up here. And then there's there's switches for that down here that it's even got LEDs inside the these low light LEDs for nighttime. See, those are little baby lights. Right. So, like, if you're if you're, everything's dark, you're yeah. trying not to not disturb your co pilot. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see. David Nichols said, what's the cost to have a microwave and fridge installed? You probably don't know that, do you? I do not. That's a, that's a leasing question. Kyla, um, maybe we'll follow up with that one. Um, Anthony X said, are they coming with disc brakes? So the front is disc. Uh, that's a standard option. There is an option for you to upgrade the rear to disc brakes. Want to say it's in the 1400 range uh, to upgrade that um, so that you'll have all wheel disc. And I, I, I like all wheel disc, but uh, the front comes standard with disc brakes now. Okay. Matthew Roberts said the code fell out of his pocket outside in the beginning when you took the keys out. Well, you know, I believe that completely because <laughs> uh, back to the, I, I don't know about this whole live thing and yeah, a little bit nervous. This. Yeah, this is worse than Justin put me in front of the, the Friday morning meeting every Friday and talking to drivers, you know, and that's the much smaller crowd. Yeah. And by um, the way, to mention that, we were talking about it earlier. Yeah. Prime does have a, a meeting every Friday morning. At all three of their terminals, breakfast is, is covered by Robert Lowe. Uh, come in, talk about safety, talk about trucks. All the reps are there. Your your managers are around for road assist and, and other departments. If you've got questions, you, you need them. If you don't make these Friday meetings at least once in a while, you're missing out. All right, um, and the recordings of those are in the Prime Mobile app as well. Gregory Christopher said, "Is it keyless?" It's not right. This one is not keyless, but the, you there is a keyless yeah. option. If this one's keyless, the key fob's not with the key. <laughs> okay. Um, da, da, da. So Villa said, the mid-roof dash uh, nav and radio had issues with shutting down. Can we expect the same from the ultra loft? I haven't had that issue on any of the recent trucks. Uh, the 17s, there was some stuff where you, were, you had to reboot it. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a radio that can fail, but they, I haven't had any, I haven't had any, big struggles taking care of the radios in any recent months. All right, let me, I'm a little bit behind here. Does, uh, Brian Moses says, does it have the passenger side step box like the 586 had? No. Can you add it? No. No. Okay. This is, that's, unfortunately the EPA components down there kind of keep us from having that, that box anymore. Okay. Um, Chapulin said need inverter for microwave. So you said that there was one down there. Yeah, Prime, Prime installs inverters on all the trucks, but you can do the factory installed option. Uh, I do not know for certain how much it is. It's fairly pricey. I like the factory installed option um, just simply because with me taking care of the trucks, I like to have everything on board being uh, mine. That way I, I can help. Uh, and I think it's a good inverter. I have very, very few problems. I do know I have some trucks out there with it. I never hear anybody complaining about it. Okay, Christopher Burns said, how about a manual transmission? You can, Prime does allow that in certain circumstances, but it does not on a lease, it's a lease purchase thing, and you really gotta ask them what they will and will not allow in the transmission change. They're kind of like a unicorn anymore, right? Right, <laughs> and I will tell you, I have, a, I have that question a lot. I'm, I'm a fan of these 12 speeds. I, I like these 12 speeds. They're, the industry is going to this. This is not, hey, Prime decided to change. This is an industry thing. It's a good thing. Uh, there's lots and lots of advantages. There's always questions and concerns, but by, by and large, they've been a, a great improvement on fuel economy, drivability. 
uh, comfort. Uh, even in even my guys that drive a lot in the snow up north, uh, north in Canada and stuff have all said they actually prefer it now. They were nervous, but that's changed. Generally, once the driver's in it for a little while, they the manual transmission isn't a concern for them anymore. Okay. Um, Chandler and Cass said, what's the truck's MSRP price? Do you have that memorized? It probably depends on... It depends. Um, you know, it... Uh, it's it's not cheap. <laughs> They're nice <laughs> trucks. Uh, I'm I've been a Peterbilt, and I'm not, and I know I'm biased, okay, because I've been with Peterbilt for a long time, and and I love them, and I, and I've been a Peterbilt fan for even before I ever started working for for any uh, Peterbilt dealers or anything else. But uh, it's not cheap, and I Prime has their their own arrangements they make because they buy well three to four hundred trucks a year. So, all right, uh, Stephen Pineda said I'm six feet four inches can I stand up all the way without hitting my head looks like it yes yes you can reach your hands up there he's a little I'm, short I can't, but I, I, you should be good all right uh Carlos Oak said are you keeping the standard trucks you have left or going all auto we are going all auto we made that all move auto. what 2015 the 16? 2017 trucks came in automated yeah and from that point on so that was 2016 uh from that point on we it's all automated the the manual transmissions are like I said, they're a thing of the past. It won't be long. Uh, actually, the um, most OEs, I know Peterbilt OEs is a standard option now for, for our trucks. Uh, it, they, they have this 12 speed and it's more, it's gaining traction. Like I said, the whole industry is gonna go to it. Uh, just like your automotive. They and don't, they've changed they don't do, a lot. Right, e even a pickup issues. truck, you can't buy in a manual transmission unless you special order it anymore. Steven Bollinger said, any issues with the SRC faults, DEF issues on the ultra loft? No. Uh, that's uh, I, that's not something we struggle with. It's gotten so much better with the changes in EPA stuff. Tony Flint said, what's the expected fuel mileage with 40,000 load? Uh, reefer flatbed tanker. Um, you know, the reefer fleet, all the reefer fleet tends to run mid eights to mid nines. Uh, flatbeds and tankers slightly below that and depends on the driver. Uh, it's still very, even with the automated transmission, as much as that helps, uh, very driver dependent. Ten wheeler said, "Does driver seat sorry <laughs> does driver seat swivel around?" This one does not, uh, and I believe they still they still have that option. I don't know that Prime picks up that. Oh, it wasn't the driver seat; it was the passenger seat that they were allowing to have a swivel on. Um, it's it's not an option I see very often. David Ogden said, "How's the warranty on driver trade?" The warranty on these trucks is four years, 600,000. On the truck, the chassis, the engine, drivetrain, uh, transmissions to 750, uh, it's good. It's real good. Best in the industry. Sherry, Sherry Lynn Burnett said, what does the cab storage look like? Are things going to fall out like the older models? So that was one of the things I thought was nice is they changed so when they started adding cabinets, they added cabinets with doors that actually shut. Um, so that things don't fall on your head as a driver. Um, they've got ledges on the front ones. Um, little pocket here. Little pocket so that you've got that. Um, and then of course these are all ledge too. They're, they're dipped down. Uh, so depending on how you stack your stuff, uh, no, they should not. Okay. Um, Jim Allen said, have they done any upgrades to the MX-13 engine for 2020? This generation engine, uh, yeah, they're always changing stuff. So uh, the EPA 17 came out and with every EPA jump, there's always some changes. Um, specific upgrades yeah. would be a little hard to list. Uh, the, the biggest change that I see that you could probably see as a driver is that these engines will lug down far further than they used to. Um, like I said, they've moved that torque curve down to, to help improve that fuel economy. Uh, everybody's down speed, and that's the reason for the higher rear end ratios and all that stuff, too. All right, a couple of people have joined us and missed it when we said the TV mount where it was. So it is over here. Um, somebody commented and said it's, it is set um, for 32 inches, it looks like. I don't believe that one Not is. Not that one. But Not that one. I think if you do the 32, you don't get the window on that side. Ah. Okay, yeah, that's a much that's that's pretty that, yeah. that's a big that's a much bigger and I would didn't want to mention too so there's 70 cubic foot of space in here 
in this ultra loft and it was a gain from the mid roofs one of the things is if you're not a team operator which i'm going to tell you right now team operation is where the money's at right now but you can fold this up to gain that extra space and there's another 14 cubic foot up here in this in this bunk if you fold it in half as a shelf yeah that really condenses. it's hard to tell with the video i don't even know if this will do it justice but that's cool um david ogden said still have factory subwoofer yes it does it's uh I believe it's a 10 inch woofer that's down here in a box okay um james driver said is there under bunk storage there is under bunk storage it's probably easier to see from the doors on the outside there's okay. There's a small door there, and then, of course, the, the we'll big door in the sleeper. In second. Um, do window curtains come standard? Uh, I haven't seen any trucks that don't have the curtain between the sleeper and cab. And if you'll look, the curtains, these privacy curtains slide all the way around on a rail okay. on the front of the cab. And I believe this is, again, this is a very, this is a stock order truck for Prime. There's nothing added here for a specific driver. This is this is how they order them. Okay. Um, do you know how many trucks, have, how many Peterbilt trucks are coming in each week to Prime? I don't know it by each week. There's, there's, uh, <laughs> there, uh, you gotta leave the window down so everybody can honk at you. So, uh, there's 300 plus a year and depends on how leasing needs them or when people are coming in, they, I know they move them around a little bit. That would be more of a Kyla question. Um, what percentage does Peterbilt make up of the fleet of trucks wise? We have 12 or 1300 trucks here now out of so what what did i tell you earlier paul told me paul told uh, me it was seven thousand like, five hundred yeah, and something somewhere around there so just just under 20 percent. i think the freight liner the, the, this is 12 to 1400 somewhere in there gotcha um doug Allred's, Allred said has the headspace been improved from the 579 models this is a 579 this is a 579 ultra loft and and yes that was the the goal with the ultra loft in the raised cab if you come back here and turn around you can actually see the headroom for the cab portion of the and again i'm 511 so i mean it's it's yeah, spacing it's spacious. all right um michael hayes says what is the top speed 65 <laughs> for, if you, prime, if for, for prime is 65 uh if you're at least it's 62 on cruise uh top speed outside of that if you're driving for prime it's it's 65 uh these tires if you're not driving for prime most are rated at 75 or 80 mile an hour so Man, right top like speed is not not so much a current concern <laughs> really <laughs> all right kevin hughes said is prime switching to peterbilt's for lightweights I don't know that. I don't know the answer to that question. I don't, you don't have any lightweights right now. I do not have any no. lightweights here right now, no. Okay. We, that was, we used to years ago. Okay. Um, Doug Williamson said, why is it taking so long to get trucks in? The industry is booming. Um, it's not just a prime know, problem. It is right? not a prime problem. This is, the, the economy is great. Uh, the last year has been wonderful for the trucking industry. Uh, I don't want to get into the politics, but it's been good. It's been good. So we can't build trucks fast enough for everybody. Um, and, and that is not just a prime problem. We'd love to sell more trucks here. Uh, they would love to buy more trucks here. And it's that's just, with, that's not with just Peterbilt, it's Freightliner. Every, that's which, everybody. Like Freightliner. I said, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's good. It's a good market to be in right now. All right. Um, we're going to switch around here. People really want to see what's under the box. So I know you had trouble lights. getting it open and then we'll step outside for you guys. So you can take a look uh, one more time at. I think the, I Oh, I'm just not pulling hard enough. <laughs> Come on, work out, Van. I don't right. bend like I used to. I'm kind of old and chubby. <laughs> so if you had a factory inverter, it would be setting right down there. Okay. And then uh, somebody said on the uh, bottom bunk mattress, is it spring or foam? That feels like foam to me. Okay. I think in the company store, don't they add or they sell extra? They, yes, they do. Um, all right, we're going to step outside. Let me, show you the, let me show you the dash real fast. In case you yeah, one of the, so I mentioned earlier, so the steering column, if you, there's a handle over there, well, not only moves up and down, it moves in and out. Where? Oh, here. So you, you got the up and down, but you've got the, ah. so, you know, depending on how you want to sit here and uh, your height, it, it, it changes quite a lot. Uh, 
Um, someone said, how long does the blinker fluid last? And the, is that a real question? I don't know. The how long does the blinker fluid and turning fluids last? That's a joke, right? Yes, that's, okay. that's, that's right. a joke. I'm a blonde. I read it and then I realized. <laughs> um, da, 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 da. Ashley Pizza, what does the flooring look like? I think this one's just got the standard rubber flooring, both front and back. And there's the speaker he was asking about earlier. That's the sub. Uh, oh, I see it. Ta-da! Yeah, this one's just equipped with the rubber floor mats. Yeah. Let's get there. All right. Um, Stacy Carlson said, now I'm nervous to read questions. <laughs> <laughs> I love the blinker fluid thing. That's, yeah, that's, that's awesome. That's, that's awesome. Great. Okay. Um, Stacy Carlson said, does the dash show how much fuel is left like the Volvo and does it have decent or descent control like a uh, Freightliner? Uh, when you mean how much fuel is left, you're talking about in gallons? No, it shows economy. I don't know that there's a setting on there that shows the amount of gallons left in the tank. And as far as descent control, so there's some differences there. The you set the cruise on here and use your jakes more like you would have done with a manual transmission truck. There's not a whole lot uh, different with that. Uh, the only difference that's changed on this truck is with this 12 speed. There's the three settings that you're used to on the jakes. And when you pull ours one more, it gives you what's called a max, which influences the transmission to downshift a little sooner to help hold you back a little more. Emily Plummer said, are they putting the new deer guards on these? Uh, same the deer guard it was before. Looks like it's a little bit closer, like the Freightliners. Um, the space in between mm. here. They said that the Trying sensor. Trying to close the gap up. Yeah, there was something with the sensor that was. Um, oh, our guarded. front. The front uh, collision avoidance radar would probably be a, been a problem on some yeah. models. Um, sorry. <laughs> Thomas Miller said, Do you know when the cabin sleeper lights are going to be available? I do not know when the cabin sleeper lights are available. I think the last I heard, which has only been a week or two back, they weren't out yet. He's talking about the chicken lights that would normally go under here and fill this gap. Oh, okay. So that, uh, that I don't believe they're in yet. Okay. Um, what's the OBC look like? OBC. I don't know. <laughs> so I think you would know. Um, Michael Hayes says, does it come with the refrigerator and microwave? You can get the, the refrigerator, it's from the factory installed. I uh, don't believe the microwave comes, I don't think y'all spec it with a microwave from the factory. David Ogden. Uh, you're, you're talking about the box that would have been here on the other side. No, again, the EPA has, so we've got the battery box here. There used to be a matching box on the other side. There's not anymore. Okay. Um, That's where all the after treatment that we all So windy. All right, do. let's step back inside real fast. Oh, yeah. Some questions and then we'll wrap up here. If you guys are just tuning in, we're looking at the 2020 model of the Peterbilt Ultraloft. Man, this thing smells like a new car. It is. It is. Yeah, it's fresh. brand new. Like I said the plastic <laughs> wasn't even off the stuff yeah. yet, so. All right, um, we'll answer a few more questions here. Um, and then Kyla from our leasing department, uh, or from Success Leasing, has been going through and answering some of them that I haven't been able to get to. So if you have any uh, questions, you can continue to comment. We'll follow up on them. Um, Mike Mariani said, what have they done to remedy the electrical issues Pete's have had? Okay, so. There's been some changes on how we do. No matter fact, this one, uh, I will end up taking pictures of later for some other stuff. Um, they're, they've wrapped these harnesses now with a, it's a Kevlar mat uh, to help deter rubbing. And they've changed again, the brackets and the routing uh, to help deter rubbing. And that that's, when it comes to electrical issues, that's really what you worry about on the road. These trucks, they take a lot of abuse going down the highway and the harnesses would rub and shake and chafe and then we'd have shorts that kind of thing now it's all protected and wrapped up with this kevlar that goes from somewhere right under this cab to somewhere back there okay um tin wheeler said tin wheeler said led lights or non-led they're not led lights y'all fact y'all spec with the standard headlights the uh there is a HID option uh, upgrade 
uh, that I am a, I'm a fan of the HIDs, uh, and that's when people ask me, you know, what should I upgrade on my truck? That's usually the first comment is you should get LEDs. Or not LEDs, but HIDs, not LEDs. What's the difference? Um, LEDs are more what you've got in here, and they're not offered yet, uh, but the HIDs are very, very bright. Okay. Uh, over your standard headlight, um, I mean, I don't see well, you know, in the dark, so I, that those headlights, those HIDs are wonderful. Tristan Stevens said, does it come with the window visor on the outside standard? Yes. The the, the visor that's up here, that we should have showed from the outside. Yeah, it's, oh, it's on all of them. It. Sorry. Um, which seats are those? Landall. Says. These are the STs. I don't believe these are the upgraded seats. They're not leather. They're just mm -mm. fabric. They're just fabric. Uh, so That's this is the, the standard. I know someone had a concern yesterday. Um, this one still has the plastic on it. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's real. But this one, does this have a... Yeah. It does have an armrest on both seats. There we go. That's what I was trying to show. The words. Um, the International yesterday, it didn't look like there was a... a a hand rest on the, or an arm uh, rest on know. the yeah and i know y'all have a lot of y'all y'all offer some options for upgraded seats too all the way up to the bows i believe okay um albert paul does it have the self-greasing exhaust bearings <laughs> is that another joke <laughs> i can't <laughs> oh my gosh um obc is short for onboard computer oh what was the question about the onboard? I computer? don't remember. What does the OBC look like? I think was the question. No. If you have that question, let us know again. Well, if you're talking about onboard computers, there's there's many, and uh, these 2020s actually gained another um, because of the systems that are on on the trucks nowadays. The uh, and with with the safety systems and everything else, well, there's there's six onboard ECMs, I believe. Okay. Um, Kyle said we do offer upgraded seats, but no longer offer the Bose. What is that? That is, is the new. passenger's laptop table. Interesting. All right. I think we've covered most of it. Um, what size fridge is available? You've went over the fridge multiple times. Yeah, right. It's the standard same size we offer in the, in the Prime store. It would fit right there. Yep. And then your microwave would fit up here. And then they And I do know that the max size here is 1.1 1 .1 cubic foot. 1.1. 1 .1. All right. I'm going to show you the inside one more time. TV mount there. Another uh, storage. Storage. He talked about this. They raised it so that your clothes have more room. Yep. 42 inches of hanging space. And uh, big, big compartment up here for the CPAP machines. With oh, and a mirror. Look at this selfie mirror. Did you? <laughs> I did. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Uh, yep, CPAP up there. All right. Well, we're going to do a walk around the outside. One last time, show this beauty off. We'll show that visor. Oh man, it feels good out here. Yeah, let's get a little Sun's warm inside the truck. Yeah. All right, so this is the 2020 Peterbilt Ultraloft. If you're interested in coming to Prime, or if you have any questions, you can comment below. We are hiring. We'd love to talk to you. And again, remember, we I stay, and I have a I have a, a helper that stays down at driver lineup in the Plaza building. So if you're in a Pete, getting in a Pete, coming to Prime to drive a Pete, and you need something, you come see us. I don't always have all the answers, but I generally know who I can go to to get them. Uh, we're here, they, my cell phone's available. If you have problems, call me. Uh, if you can't find my phone number, call your road assist, they have it. Uh, please get in touch. We will do everything we can to help you out, take care of you. I, again, I've been a Peterbilt fan for longer than I've worked for them, so. I'm biased, but uh, <laughs> give me a call. Uh, we'll, we'll help take care of you. All right. Thanks, Van. You did a great job on your first live video. <laughs> Again, horribly nervous. I, that, <laughs> that whole standing in front of a crowd thing is just uh, yeah. not my gig. But it's just a phone. Just a, just phone. a phone. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, uh, let me show you something right over here. Passenger side. Football. Football. I'm 
American theme. Uh. All right, thanks for tuning in everybody. I hope you enjoyed our live video. Um, we did get some requests for doing a Freightliner truck tour. So if you wanna see that, please comment below. Let us know if you'd be interested and we'll see you next time.